So, what is wrong with Jeb? He's now just Jeb. His, uh, He's been repackaged. It's a bit like Jeremy Corbyn's being repackaged. Over well, here. his big buck backers are worried. They're worried. They're worried by people like Donald Trump, you know, leading the field, aren't they? I well, mean, because yeah. uh, he's got... Aren't they kind of re... They're, they're sort of redoing the campaign and, uh, yeah. you know, the backers are sort of, you know, re- reinvigorating it all. And sort well, of not reinvigorating it. They've, they've held a gun to his head and said, improve your poll numbers because <laughs> yeah. he's been... He's been uh, I mean, he started before before Trump declared he was the leader. Mm. Uh, he mm. was the presumed nominee, and now he's down in in single digits, and he continues with every poll to lose share. A tank, basically, yeah. despite yeah. millions, hundreds of millions. He raised a hundred million dollars in the first quarter. They're expecting that you know in the next quarter that he will have raised at least that, if not more. And you begin to wonder, well, you know, the backers are, are, are not very happy with this performance thus far. Mm. He's no longer the happy warrior. He even looks surly out there on the tray. It looks like he ate something bad. <laughs> yes, and, that's right. He does, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. As though he's sort of just thrown up or something. It's just <laughs> you sit there and you begin to think, well, maybe there's something going on here because mm. his, his numbers are, 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 in, are in pretty deep. So deep where trip. are his numbers now then? Well, I mean, he's at like 7%. Golden bear. That is yeah, bad, man. isn't it? Yeah. And, and, I mean, he was and, a front runner as well. Well, CNBC just literally last night announced what the criteria will be for the late October debate, uh, the week that we're not on, unfortunately. But uh, there will be a debate while we're, um, while we're off. And mm. they said that basically, if you have not managed to achieve 1% of the vote in a single poll, you won't even be invited to the kids' table. Gordon, that's and that's terrible. put that's put Lindsey Graham, who's a United States senator from South Carolina, and Jim Gilmore, former governor. You know, they're both at risk of not even being invited to the kids' yeah, table. That's terrible. Isn't you know, it? So you'll have a, you'll have a kids' table debate of three people and a, and ten people at the main stage. And I mean, he doesn't it come just, over well, though, does he? I mean, stupid. You know, his speeches are not. You know, well, he doesn't invigorate the audience, does he? You know, with his speech and what he no, says. No, but he doesn't insult the audience either, and he doesn't no. insult it. I mean, I find maybe true. that's what the electorate want. Well, what, what, <sighs> you know, when they're in, in this polling guy comes up to them, maybe that's what they want. Oh, you know, I don't know. I don't and know. because of course, you know, the, the media are all over Trump, and he gets a lot of high-profile stuff because of these outrageous, racist things he says. <laughs> and Jeb Bush doesn't say those sorts of things. And, you know, mm. so the media isn't all over him. No. So he doesn't get the profile of people like Trump, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe that's part of the problem. I don't know. But it's, it's just, it's not happy. Not happy at all.